Well, I've got a few videos posted to YouTube, and my next step is to uh, offer plans for my belt disc sander, which I think is one of my better projects. Uh, before I could draw up plans, I needed two things. I needed a suitable electric motor, and I need a shop vacuum that I can salvage the fan and filter unit from. I found an old electric motor, a, a half horsepower 1725, which I think I could use for the project. But I wanted to test it before I went ahead and built um, a project around it. It was my intention to draw plans and then build from those plans a second belt disc sander so I could prove all the measurements and, the, and photograph the steps in, in building it. Anyway, I found this motor, so I wanted to test it and see if it was any good, see if it was developing its uh, horsepower, uh, see if it needed bearings and so on. It's a kind of a double-edged project because I've always been kind of interested in electric motor horsepower. I've often heard that an electric motor will do the same work as a gasoline engine of two or three times the same horsepower rating. So I'm going to measure the horsepower of a couple of electric motors and a gasoline engine and compare them and just see for, my, for myself what the difference is. Um, a couple of centuries ago, a gentleman named James Watt uh, observed in the United Kingdom that a horse could lift a, a bucket of coal weighing 550 pounds out of, a, out of the vertical shaft of a mine with a rope over a pulley and a single good horse could lift 550 pounds of coal one foot in one second or he could lift it 60 feet in one minute and he said that should be a definition of one horsepower and incredibly that definition still stands today so what I've contrived to do is to load the electric motor with an alternator. I'm going to measure the reaction to rotation with a spring scale and try and measure the torque that the motor produces. If the motor is producing a certain amount of torque it should be producing an opposite reaction through the base and I've made up a gimbal with pivot points that line with the motor shaft and I'm going to measure the torque produced. I've got a torque arm here exactly six inches from the center of the pivot shaft to this attachment point for the spring scale. Measure the torque I put a variable resistor in place of the voltage regulator so that I can increase the current flow through the field and thereby increase the output of the alternator. I've hooked it up through a pair of heavy leads to my car battery. It's kind of an experiment, uh, but I think it should work. Most alternators require a uh, a warning lamp circuit to provide initial current flow through the rotating field to, to energize the alternator. Okay, let's calculate the horsepower. The motor ran at 1,676 revolutions per minute. And it produced a force of 4 pounds on the end of the 6 inch arm, the torque arm, of the gimbal. Now the during one revolution that force had it been a complete circle would have traveled a distance of pi times the diameter pi 3.14 
times the diameter, because it's a six inch radius, it has a diameter of one foot. Um, that's per each revolution. And because we're trying to get it down to foot pounds per second, we have to also multiply times one minute, actually divide by 60 seconds. Now, if we do the arithmetic for that, we come up with 351. foot pounds per second. Now, what I told you that the horsepower is 550 foot pounds per second, so it's a little bit, of course, it's really less than one horsepower, but a little more than half. In fact, if we divide the 350, one by 550, we'll come up with 0.64 horsepower. Okay, 0 0.64, almost two-thirds of a horsepower. Not bad for a half horsepower, an old half horsepower motor. I thought it might rate, it might come up a little bit higher than that. I'm sure if we operated at this load for any length of time, the overload protection would uh, trip and shut the motor down. So I suspect that a half horsepower rating for this motor is a pretty honest rating and I think it means that the motor will be quite satisfactory for my belt disc sander project. This motor is rated at uh, 3 quarter horse 3450 rpm and I um, repositioned the mounting pins uh, for this gimbal so they line up as closely as possible with the motor shaft. Uh, we're going to measure the rpm I'll put some load on it, measure the rpm and then uh, I'll increase the load to maximum, see what the maximum uh, uh, tension we can read on the spring scale. And from that we'll calculate the horsepower. Uh, first of all, warning lamp. This motor ran at 3328. Revolutions per minute. And it created a, a force of 3.5 pounds. And to get it into foot to foot pounds, we need to multiply it by 3.14 times one foot diameter. That's 3.5 times 3.14 foot foot pounds for each revolution, a theoretical revolution, times one minute divided by 60 seconds. Let's, let's do the arithmetic. It equals 609 foot-pounds per second. Now, if again, if one horsepower is 550, if we divide by 550, 1.1 horsepower. Again, not bad for a three-quarter horsepower motor, so it, 
it uh, shows that these motors are, uh, appear to be rated uh, very fairly. I, again, I think at 1.1 horsepower, this motor would overheat and shut down very quickly, but could operate continuously at three quarters of a horsepower. Okay, it'll be interesting to see what uh, a gasoline engine does. I've bolted the gasoline engine now in place of the electric motors on this gimbal and I've uh, shimmed the motor. I've used uh, the same pivot holes that I used for the half horse electric motor but I've shimmed the motor up off the pad so the motor shaft aligns pretty closely with the pivot points on the gimbal. The motor is a 3.5 horsepower Tecumseh motor isn't balanced in the gimbal so we have to take at two and a half pounds off of the force reading that the maximum force reading that we achieve okay I'm going to start the motor up measure its RPM I had the motor running so it's warmed up A lot of vibration there, but I think the maximum torque reading I got was six pounds if I try to read, read the average reading of the needle. So with the gasoline engine, it under, under load it turned at 31.25 revs per minute. We had a six pound load on the torque arm, but a two and a half pound load static. So the net force on the torque arm was six minus two and a half, or three and a half pounds. Okay, the uh, Multiply that by pi to get the circumference of one revolution times one foot diameter. That's pounds feet pounds uh, feet force per revolution times one minute over sixty seconds. Now, that arithmetic is going to be kind of interesting. Equals 5.72 foot-pounds per second. Isn't that interesting? This uh, at 550 foot-pounds would be one horsepower, so 572 divided by 550 is 1.04 horsepower. So this engine rated at 3.5, or advertised at 3.5 as a net output shaft horsepower with my rather approximate calculations of 
four horsepower. I guess there is some truth that, to the fact that uh, electric motors will perform about the same as a gasoline engine two or three times the, the horsepower. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.